Luke 12. Luke 12. From verse 35. Verse 35. Let your loins be guarded about and your lamps burning. And be ye yourself like unto men looking for their Lord when he shall return from the marriage feast. That when he cometh and knocketh, they may straightway open unto him. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching, or him doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall get himself, and make them sit down to meet, and shall come and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, and, in, and if in the third, and find them, so blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what hour the thief was coming, he would have watched and not have left his house to be broken through. Be you also ready for in an hour that you think not the Son of Man cometh. No. For in an hour that ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. And Peter said, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even unto all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall set over his household, to give them their portion of food in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth, I say unto you that he will set him over all that he hath. But if that servant shall say in his heart, My Lord, delayeth his coming, and shall begin to bid the men servants and maid servants, and to eat and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of the servants shall come in a day when he is expected not, and in an hour when he knoweth not, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint his portion with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his Lord's will, and made not ready, nor did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not, and did things with you of stripes, shall be beaten with few stripes. And to whomsoever much is given, of him shall be required. And to whom they commit much, of him they will ask the more. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's read verse 48 in Amplified Bible. I want you to listen in Amplified. I'm verse 48. But the one who did not know it and did things worthy of a beating will receive only a few lashes from everyone to whom much has been given. Much will be required and to whom they entrusted much of him they will ask all the more. Today I want to talk about your responsibility as a Christian. Just write your responsibility as a Christian. It's responsibility responsibility that judges us. If you are a Christian, your respond matters. Our Lord Jesus Christ here, he gave a parable, but he was speaking. And the disciples were not understanding. But there are things, number one, he was saying. He warned them that they must be ready always. Always. Because they don't know the time. Of judgment. They must be ready always. They don't know the time of judgment. 
Number two, he gave an illustration. And say that, you know, always when the one who judges come. You who have been given responsibility. You must know that you are appointed on the set times. According to the Jews, they, they had three times. The first one, the second one, and the third watch. So According to that night, so Jesus was saying, if you know when the thief, the time of the thief that he will come on this time, you will carry on watching. But if not, the, the thief will come in the time you are not expecting. In other words, a Christian must keep on doing because he has been given a certain time. And the time he has been given, soon, it can be given someone. We are living this life here. But it's possible that someone replace another. So if you have been given a task, you must fulfill your responsibility. So if now you have been given a task, and you become like a master who has been given a chance. When the master delay, you began to change the character. Listen to this. In the responsibility that you have been given, it's only the delay of the master when he comes to your accounts that it can affect your focus I don't know if you are hearing it if it. God gives you responsibility and you are faithful to them it will become easy for you to descend the times you will know that it seems as if my time is finishing. When Jesus was faithful to his responsibility, no one could kill him on the cross. Because Jesus could just be healed on the cross. Come out from the cross. He just pray a prayer. And say it is finished. From there he said, to your hands I put He knew because he was faithful to his responsibility. We Christians we cannot be Christians unless we have responsibilities that shows we are Christians. Hallelujah. Amen. You Christians, you cannot be Christians unless you have responsibilities to be called Christians. It says whatever, whoever is given much. Much is required from them. That is responsibility. You know, I've been sharing this this week. I said, I was telling some people that if you cry to be rich, the responsibility will be very serious. And the moment you fail to those responsibilities, 
It's possible you can be replaced. Because you are not just given to be rich. God wants to do something through you. People must understand though you are rich but you are different with us. Though though you are rich you can be different with others. You can be poor and be different with others. I wish many of you don't cry for bigger responsibilities. I wish you don't cry for bigger responsibilities. Because you know you won't be able to execute the things that are needed in those, in those principles you have been given. I don't know if you are hearing that. Keep watching Charis. TV.